Hi, beloved people. My name is Evangelist Kaswali. Please call me Mama for short, and I will respond to you. I respond to it. Bless you. Um, I was about to step out, and the Holy Spirit drew me an attention on something that I need to this, uh, to share with you. Already in Shrao, God bless you so much. And what He drawed me an attention was when you get. Um, a lady or a man that you have decided to marry, please don't pump in. Listen, don't pump in at once to have sex or sexual intercourse with that person. No, don't do that. At the moment you have sexual intercourse with the person, you have to know that there is a covenant in the uh, lady's home and there is a covenant in the man's home so that covenant is follow each of you or is follow both of you so what you need first to do is you need to pray you need to pray together you need to be holy and righteous and pray together for God to break that covenant before you get married. And, and before you get married, no intimacy. Please. That is, that is destroying so many, many marriages. They will marry within two months. They will marry within, within three months. And they want to separate there will be a serious argument on little thing. A dicky ticky tibi. Then argument will start. Just a, 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 a tiny thing. You know, because you didn't invite God first in your marriage. When you do invite God first in your marriage, everything that is going to happen in the marriage, God reveal to both of you, either the man or the woman, for you to wake up and pray to break it. Because the Bible says, when you read the Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 29, the Bible says, he revealed to redeem. So you need to pray over it for God to cast it or to bound it. So anytime God will, God will be the ruler in the marriage. He will, he will rule the marriage. He wouldn't let the devil to come in to destroy anything. Amen. So anytime, when you see the man, when you see the woman, don't rush to have sexual intercourse. Please, no, pray, pray. Pray and even aside, aside these spiritual or aside these covenants from, um, from each of you family, aside that, you don't know what kind of spirit the man or the woman is carrying. That destroys so many, so many people's marriage because at the moment that woman sees the man has money, the man can take care of me. At the moment that woman sees that the man is handsome, this is a tick-tock man that I can, uh, that he, I, I, I can be or he can go anywhere with me for people to see that, oh, my man is handsome. We see these um, and physical things that we bound into the marriage with that person. At the moment the man sees this woman is beautiful. She has a big boost, a big butt, a big, um, I mean, a, 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 I mean, a big legs, nice legs, beautiful face, nice figure. We bound into that and we just go and marry that person. You need to pray and ask, to, and ask God, what kind of spirit does he or she is carrying? Because some people, are for the marine camp you will see that person 
he or she is handsome, beautiful, but at, at long last, you will go and marry. You will go and marry that woman or that man, but later on, you will cry. Later on, you will suffer. You will even ask yourself, why did I did this? Why didn't I pray over this before I got myself into? He or she will make your life so miserable. If it is a man, listen, if it is the man that you got to marry, you, you went to marry and that man is from the marine camp, but you didn't know, the man will start disturbing you with other women. With other women. That man will start disturbing you with other women women he was starting to take other side chicks you've been seeing some he doesn't care about you you've been doing certain things because he came purposely to come to destroy you listen very careful he came to destroy you so you will have some intimacy with other women whilst he is married and if it is a woman that the man went to marry. She will start, while she is married, she will start sleeping with other men. While she is married, she will always bring curses into the marriage. She will always bring curses into the marriage. You will cry. You will cry at the end of it. You will say that, no, I can't stand not anymore. I need to get divorced. And at the moment you get divorced, he has some of your spams. He will take it under the sea and he will work. Or she will work on you. She will work on you and he will also work on you. If you don't know. And even you have separated. But the things that he or she will do is. He or she will do that. You will never get a man to marry anyone.